Hi, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. Just wanted to do a short video and I'm going to write a blog post and link it underneath here about uh, Packet Tracer and the CCNA exam. I do write in forums whether you'll find, as you know, a lot of opinionated people. Let's bear in mind what we're trying to do when you pass the CCNA, which is to become a network engineer, probably support Cisco switches and routers, install them, do all your troubleshooting and configurations. So. Uh, Cisco Packet Tracer is this program here. It's a free download if you want to Google it from Cisco Systems. You just create an account and you can um, download it onto your PC or laptop. And then you've got all these routers here, all these different models that you just drag onto the canvas. And um, you've got end devices, laptop servers, and um, tablets, wi uh, wireless stuff. Um, any connection types, so fiber, console cables, crossover cables, that kind of thing. Um, a load of Internet of Thing devices that you can control remotely. So you get the gist anyway. So this is what's great. You can get all these devices, uh, get a cable and uh, connect this interface to uh, an interface on your routers. You can obviously add a service, so say you wanted DHCP running on this network, you can do all that. So good things. It's free. <laughs> it, um, it covers not just your routers and switches, but also your DHCP, where you can configure for your servers, um, Telnet servers, TACAX radio. So it does a lot of stuff, and definitely for CCNA, not for CCMP. It doesn't do enough for that in terms of um, protocol support. So it's a great tool for your CCNA, um, but nothing's perfect. And bear in mind, as I said, you're looking to become a network engineer, and this is a, a simulation of what a network does, not actually what a network does. So if I go into my router here, um, you're not configured an actual router, and a programmer's coded any command. So if the programmer hasn't coded this command on here, it won't work. Whereas with a live uh, router here, this is the entire Cisco IOS. So if I do a show version, for example, it's actually got a, a flash image on here, advanced enterprise with some security features. I mean, this doesn't really matter here, but um, this is an actual Cisco IOS that's been um, created, which supports all the commands that are built into the operating system. Why does that matter to you? Well, say you, you're you going through the syllabus, you read all the theory, read all the theory, and you think, oh, yeah, okay, first hop redundancy protocols. So I want to configure... Um, HSRP, VRRP, and uh, GLBP. So if I go onto my, uh, go to my router, sorry. I can't remember what um, interfaces are on here. So VRRP group number one, and um, all my other commands, I'll put the IP address in of whatever it is. Okay, so I can carry on doing that. Um, but say I don't have a live router, I'm just using Cisco Packet Tracer. So, show IP interface brief. So I know what interfaces I've got. Interface, um, gigabit, zero slash zero. Oh, sorry, conf t interface gigabit zero slash zero and vrp. Oh, that command isn't there. And oh, what about gateway load balancing protocol? Not there. All right, uh, so if I try something else, All right, so I can configure gateway load balancing protocol. So we've got something here that we can do. So we, we can configure some of the stuff, but not all of it. So this is the uh, first problem. The other problem is 
uh, if I uh, try sh um, debug IP. So a lot of your job as the uh, Cisco engineer is going to be troubleshooting. So if I go back to the router here, you're going to want to run debugs on your network. So debug um, ERGRP, it's not in the syllabus, but it's still covered in the exam. Can't tell you more than that. So say you want to debug something to do with um, NAT. All right, so that's all you've got. Now let me log on to my live uh, router here. So debug IP NAT. So this gives me a lot more uh, information. Yeah, debug IP NAT. So I've got, I can add an access list. So you'll do this when you want to reduce the amount of debug traffic hitting your um, interface here and it won't crash your router. Um, IPsec, your port numbers, um, a whole bunch of stuff here. So you've got a, quite a granular way of of digging into troubleshooting and this is one of your key skills as a Cisco engineer. So um, that's the other problem. The other problem is um, before you kind of get to the troubleshooting, well it's halfway there because you want to verify what you're doing. So um, show IP, let me choose something, interface, all right, so I've got a little bit here. Um, I'll do a sh show IP NAT. I'll, tr I'll choose NAT again. So show IP NAT translations and statistics. All right, so I've got a bit more information. Um, All right, so show IP and app translations, and I can dig in. Uh, verbose was the one we used um, most at Cisco TAC. But you can, if you're debugging TCP, UDP, that kind of thing. So if we go back to the uh, router, show IP and app translations. That's it. That's all I've got. And again, it might sound like I've been picky, but just remember what the end goal is. Again, you want to kind of learn to configure NAT. Then you want to do your show commands to make sure you've got it all right and uh, try the different subcommands. And then you want to debug to see what's happening. Then you want to break it and see if you can fix it. And the way you'll spot what's broken is with the debug and the show commands. So um, the, these are the two, uh, two or three things. The doesn't support all of the things that are listed in the CCNA syllabus. Doesn't give you your uh, debugs or not enough, I don't think. Uh, your show commands are a little bit limited. Now, this isn't knocking um, Packet Tracer. It's a great tool. I've used it. I've done lots of labs for my students with it. For CCMP, as I've said, if that's your goal at the end or CCIE, um, nowhere near enough. And uh, I think there's a few commands it doesn't actually support for some reason. Yeah, sorry, I just had to check. So show a MAC address table. This is an important one as well when you're debugging your... Um, Mac stuff, show Mac address table static. So this was a static, static entry put in by you as the network administrator. But obviously the Mac address table has um, a dynamic and generally learns through um, a dynamic system. So if I go over to my router, show Mac address table, and I want to dig into the dyna dynamic output, the aging times, a particular address, as I said, the dynamic, a particular interface as well. If you think the problem's on one part of your network or one interface or a VLAN, you, if you've got a lot of outputs that you want to look at, this lets you quickly dig into what the problem is. So it's another limit. And the thing is, in the exam, they're going to ask you questions, maybe about the show MAC address table command. They might ask you what the um, options are, or they might say, um, how, what command would you put in? So I don't know if I've, I don't know if the other devices are turned on. No. So the um, they might ask you what's going to show or how do you dig into the dynamic? And without um, having done this, you might have a bit of a problem. One last thing. Um, so show run um, 
if I do show run here, this is what the network engineers tend to do. If you think the problem's on an access list on your particular interface, you can type show run interface and then whatever the interface um, name is. So I haven't put a config on here yet, but say I had an access list, an IP address. Otherwise, what you have to do is show run and go keep hitting the um, space bar. No, I'm not there yet. Oh, I found the bit I want yet. And, or it could be further down here if I've got my VT, VTY lines. So on my packet tracer, show run. Yeah, I can use some piping if I want, but that's it. So um, I just want you to bear in mind that packet tracer is a great tool. You, I recommend you spend some time using some um, Cisco routers and switches. Now you can use GNS3. That doesn't really do a lot of your switching that you need for your layer two stuff. So um, the router I was on, and I'm sure you saw this coming a mile off. We've got live racks on howtonetwork.com. There's a link underneath. What I do is I recommend you spend 80% of your time on Packet Tracer, just because it's quick and easier and it's fired up. There's a tour video here. And then there's um, an entire live network of uh, routers connected to switches, which are connected to other switches, uh, where you can do all of your labs, test all, um, pretty much, well, it does cover every command for the CCNA. Um, and it's this is actually set up for CCMP. So if you want, you can just use two of these routers or one router and one switch. So there's a um, link in the um, dis uh, description underneath also. I'm just trying to save you a bit of heartache when it comes to the exam and also when you come to do a technical interview and you're sitting in front of a team of engineers and they ask you to hop onto live equipment as they did for me at Cisco for my interview and start configuring and troubleshooting stuff and all of a sudden you find you don't know all of the commands because you were using Packet Tracer. So I hope that helps. Um, this isn't hating Packet Tracer so I don't need to hear from you if you're you know, you love it. Great. If it works for you, this is my personal recommendation from working at Cisco, doing consulting. And also I've taken the Cisco exams many times to renew and done the advanced stuff. All right. So um, I hope it helps. Please hit the like button if you haven't already and the bell because I've got a lot of free stuff coming out and a lot of information for you IT career in exams. And um, take a look at the blog post. See you on the next video.